Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are going to be finishing up the kitchen. It's been a while since I've touched it, and that's mainly because of some important life events. And uh, my neighbors have all been having work done on their house at the time that I normally record, and they still are, but it's time for me to finally just deal with it. So if you hear noises in the background, I'm sorry. Let's get to it. Now, we're gonna have some changes. This door, I'm redoing. I've not been very content with it. Um, obviously, my hinge thing here is poor. So we're gonna redo it. I have another hinge uh, on the way, and that will hopefully be here later today so we can start on this after we finish staining the kitchen. So for now, this is gonna function as it should. We're going to be using some of, oh, dolphins, pain. Some of this stain and poly one-step dark walnut. Basically, I, I know I'm gonna have to stain it and uh, polyurethane, so I figured, well, let me see if I can do both at the same time. May work, may not. We're gonna give it a shot. So the thing with staining or painting is kind of all in the prep, which is my least favorite part of, well, actually everything. I hate prepping. Wipe it down, blow it off, it should be good to go. Probably do the insides first, see if it messes up. And uh, if it goes well, we'll just go from there. Thankfully I did use mainly sanded plywood. Really, I don't need to mess with this stuff too much. feeling that look actually. I was not optimistic, but somehow it knows more than I. Somehow, it's crazy. I'm actually pretty content with this color, so I mean like, this is how it looks inside, It and then it comes out to that, so. That, that actually looks pretty good. We're going for this kind of match and nothing to it but to do it. like, subscribe, um, share this video with your mom. Parents love me. And then ideally, I could make enough to move away to my own shop where I wouldn't have to deal with other people living their life and doing what they have to do. You know, it passes the 10 test, so from 10 feet away, it actually looks pretty decent. But I wanted to show y'all while this is all drying before I start messing with the plumbing and the sink, everything else, I wanted to show you just like an issue I'm having with this door. So you can see this isn't exactly straight. That's the same thing on this side. It's bending in. And then if you look, you can actually see the door bend because it's not, it's not as structural as I thought it'd be. So I'm going to rebuild it. And this is our new teardrop trailer hinge. 
that opens beyond 90 because most of them open only to 90, which that would not do it for me because my head already hits it and we need it to open higher than 90 degrees. So that's what that one does. After seeing all this stained and so perfectly well done, I've decided that I want to switch this color up a bit. Uh, I don't want to match everything. I feel like it'd just be too much. Remembered I had some spare paint from an interior separate project and I wanted to see how it's going to look on here. So we're just going to give it a shot. It's a kind of a turquoise gray type thing. But we're going to we're going to try it out here. I'm I'm thinking it's going to hit. But I figured we'd experience it together. I'll be honest, I like the color. I think I need to see it all painted before I can actually visualize it because that's just kind of the person I am. But I think it's the right, right direction here. I think, I think I like it. This look is a yes. I'm a big fan. Definitely gonna need to do a second coat here. This, uh, this wood is thirsty, so it's sucking up all this paint. But I'm a big fan of breaking up the natural wood color, natural, yeah, the stained wood color. But um, I really like it. Now the issue I had with my sink here was the height, really. So basically, it was sitting too low to use this tank. So I 3D printed solution. It's actually just a spacer, but a custom fitted one and a nice green color and a dog barking at me. And this should afford me the opportunity to be able to mount my sink and drain it into my water tank down here while also looking good in this nice green. Drop this in. Just like that. That doesn't look too bad. Forgive the angle here. You can't really tell. But I even printed slots in here so I can mount it. So everything is snug as a bug. Switching up my placement of my water pump a little bit. I'll fix that hose, but this allows me this right here. The drain. And this gives me a decent gap to run my wiring. Now, funnily enough, wiring is actually one of my favorite things. Electrical work is something I enjoy. We're gonna use this fuse block. I'm gonna put this where the water pump used to be. So you go right here. Then I'm gonna use some 10 gauge wiring going down, going to the front, because that's where our battery is gonna be. That'll be all in the next video. On the bottom, we're gonna use this, which is a well, you can buy them, they're solar glands. I 3D printed this one because I needed it to be a certain specification. And I didn't want to pay for it. So I printed one, only took me like two and a half hours of modeling and anyway, this goes on the bottom.
easy. We have our negative bus bar and then positives with fuses. This will easily wire right up. Now let's do the rest. Pretty sick Harbor Freight lever connectors. They're real easy to put together. Then I have my faceplate, which since I have the design, I can customize how many switches I have. We have four at the moment. This one's our water pump going down, so we'll put that on. And then this one is going to be a master switch for our lights up top. That way, even though they're manually controllable on it, we want a quick on off, it's here. We have the space, might as well use it. And I thought, you know what would be cool? If I didn't have any screws on it, and what if it was just magnets? Bam. So now, if I ever need to switch anything, that's easy to come off, but it also is just a very clean look. Now what we've done with the back door is we've taken a 5 8 inch sheet of plywood, put some 3 quarter inch channel trim on it because 5 8 with 1 8 piece of my ACM equals 3 quarters. This equals perfectly fitting in this trim, allowing it to be completely sealed off from the outside. Combining with the waterproof hinge that exceeds 90 degrees, we can now get under here without hitting our heads. That's a little close, but that's just because the trailer itself is not that high. Now due to the design of this hinge, you can actually see we have a bit of a gap up top. So we had to trim our entire frame of the door down. And then with our new door thickness, we had to space out this hinge from the trailer frame. And I really thought about how I wanted to do this. So instead of using some quarter inch metal and adding like 20, 25 pounds up here, I 3D printed some spacers. I mean, all it's doing is just keeping this a quarter of an inch away from my frame, but this is all going into quarter inch worth of metal for each bolt. So I don't think I'm gonna have any issues across the board. So just five pieces, about a foot long each. And so far it's been working. I've not had any issues and I've opened it and closed it quite a bit just to get it tested. And down here, I didn't record it, but we did just put a door on. I don't even have a handle for it because it's not really necessary. But all it is is just some European inset hinges. So the door sits within our frame. I can open and close. And that way I do not need to cut out anything like I did down here. Someone recommended it in the comments to do for this drawer to do the same thing. So I may end up doing that in the future just to avoid this ugliness down here. And at night, these are the vibes we got going. We can change the color temperature, get a little more accurate while cooking, especially if you're cooking some meat or anything, but it looks great. You want some camp lighting around? Come over here, flip a switch, and now we're lighting up all around easily too. This nice and everything right here. All right, we're good to go. Just cut it all off. And there we have it. Uh, this took a lot longer than it should have. Add several important life events, a new job, hurricane, grandmother died, and now there's another hurricane set to hit here in about three days. So I wanted to get this video out before I lose power and internet again. So it's been, it's been a process, but it is coming along. I think, honestly, it's looking pretty good. We have a bit to go, but as always, 
I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video. And please stay safe if you are in the southeast. Peace out.